Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well. So it is Thursday morning here today, which means it is a very, very busy prep day in my micro bakery. I don't normally film on these days currently just because there is so much to do, but I thought I'd show you around, show you what I've been up to. So I started my day just before 5 a.m. It's now 9 a.m. So I've done the bulk of my prep um, well, kind of. I'm I'm midway through prep. So, for example, here I've got two boxes of sourdough fermenting. Um, so I just like to split it up between the two boxes. And that I need to shape um, by about half nine latest. I mix that first at half five, I think it was. Um and yeah so it's kind of ready to be shaped now got some nice bubbles in there um, and it's increased in size and then over here um, i've got my hot crisp bundo which i am about to shape now and pop into these trays i'm going to line that with some baking paper and then in here I've got morning bundo just chilling down um, so I mix that too and then I've got my cinnamon butter mixed already um, and I've also got a birthday cake to prepare today but what I'm thinking of doing is probably getting all of the bread and buns sorted and the packages sorted then I'll probably take my dog out for a walk and then I'll come back and bake the cake, cool that down, prepare all the icing, store it in the fridge, probably do the crumb coat today, and then finish off the icing tomorrow for deliveries tomorrow. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, it feels weird to be filming so soon after my video that I just posted yesterday. Um, but I just thought I'd show like a a busy prep day in the life of my micro bakery so I will check in later on because I've got loads of hot crust buns to shape and to prep. So it's a bit later on now, um, it's half 11, so I've basically done all of my prep. So all of my sourdough, um, hot crust buns, morning buns, cookie dough, couple wheat-free loaves, um, everything's in the fridge, I will show you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's all fully loaded, fully stocked up. And then I've just got the chocolate cake to prepare later on, but now I've got to do the packages. So this is pretty time consuming. It takes about half an hour to um, label up all the packages with all the right allergen labels and then write everybody's names on the bags and stamp the bags and write little messages for new customers. I've also got some cute little Easter cards uh, that I'm going to include in every order tomorrow um, and then I kind of divide it all into the separate boxes for the different rounds of deliveries depending on the postcodes where they're going um, so yeah that's kind of where I'm at I'm kind of flagging a bit now I feel I might need some water um, but yeah I'm gonna get this done and then go out for a walk for some fresh air and then come back and do the chocolate cake
Good morning guys, it is Friday morning so we've got loads of bakes ahead of us. I've already got my sourdough on the go, I've got my hot cross buns proofing up here, um, I've got morning buns proofing up here, I've got a cake to ice. Um, I went to bed so early yesterday so I think last time I filmed was like when I was making the cake and oh my god I was absolutely wiped out all I did was so I started work like before five and then finished after two I think so quite a long day on my feet and then took my dog out for a walk <laughs> managed to get some sun in and then she just came back had a nap and then made the cake after that and then I was just like I was so wiped out I was meant to go to the gym um, but I was like no like my body has zero energy right now I can't be doing this um, so I just I completely I had a bath I watched some TV and went to bed really early made myself some dinner went to bed really early and I think this is just like a lesson that I'm learning to honor and accept even more as a baker because it is so physically demanding and I think also because I am a business owner too there's that added layer of like responsibility and there's just always something to be done and sometimes it just slams me down so on those days I just have to rest um, and I'm feeling I'm feeling much better today I had some crazy dreams um, like deep sleep so yeah anyway that was like the little morning update for you I've got to get on and ice this cake because I didn't do any of that yesterday let's do the crumb coating and then I'll do the final layer after with all the sprinkles around so yeah it's good Friday though like um, happy Easter guys I know this is coming out next week so Easter will have happened already but I hope you all are having a lovely Easter break if you are um, wherever you are in the world and yeah I'm looking forward to some hot cross buns this weekend I'm also going to a new bakery launch called Eric's Bakery owned by Helen Fleur um, she used to be head baker at Floor Bakery in Borough Market. Um, I'm really excited to see that. So that's opening tomorrow. I need to check out what time she's open, but hey ho, that's for another day. Um, and yeah, I will check in later, guys. well that's everything for this week's video I really hope you enjoyed it I felt it was a very kind of realistic day in my life as a baker and a small business owner and really kind of showing all the nitty-gritty and kind of slowing down and really like kind of like a fly on the wall um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this style of video and I look forward to seeing you soon bye guys take care <laughs>